Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this daily planner in Word. So I've included many of the things that you'll need just to mark out your daily activities, a to-do section, the meals that you wish to plan, the day up here, the exercise you wish to participate in, your goals activities. So if you're somebody who sets goals, obviously you'll have a daily activity to help you achieve those goals. A shopping list, this may be for groceries or other things. And then a daily inspirational area here for a daily quote. So let's open a new document here. And now what we need to do is just set this page up. So as a default, your margins are set to a default of around about three centimeters. What we need to do is to maximize our page. So we need to reduce our margins. So if we go to the layout tab here, and along to margins at the end, click on the drop down and select narrow. Now all of that has done is reduced our margins. So you can see at the top here, the ruler. If you can't see your ruler, go up to view and then make sure ruler is checked here. So as you can see, the gray area is our margin and that's reduced. And also the gray area here is the margin and that's reduced too. So the next thing we need to do is to insert a table. Now, normally I insert a table that will cover the entirety of my page. And that way I can maximize every inch of this page, including the titles and also how I can manipulate it to suit my different categories and also the size of those lines to fit in the writing that you need. So I've worked out that if you go to insert table, click on the drop down and go down to insert table. Now I normally have five columns and 33 rows. Then just click OK. Now it doesn't fill my table, but that's because my default rows are actually quite narrow in height. So what I need to do is to make them wider or taller. So I'm going to select my table either by clicking on this square at the top here or by clicking and dragging. Then I'm going to go out to layout up here and go to this item here. Now all I'm going to do is having rehearsed this, I'm going to put in 0 0.81 centimeters and press enter. Now what you will find here is that your final cell will jump a page, but don't worry if we just click onto this page here, so our cursor's down here. I'm gonna go right down to the bottom of the ruler here and I'm gonna hover my cursor over the top of this join between the white and the gray section. Now, all I'm going to do is pull down and reduce the margins even further. And as you can see, that cell has now jumped across. And then all we need to do is just get rid of this page. I'm going to move the top margin up just a little bit more until that page disappears. Perfect. So if we go back to our daily planner, we're just going to make up this section here. So what we've got to do is we've just got to merge the cells behind this section here and take out the border lines. So what we need to do is just move our central blank space. Let's just go back to the design. This blank space here is actually some cells. We've just taken out the border lines. So let's just create that and then we can move on to this section here. So what we're going to do is hover the cursor over here and just pull that line across. And again, hover the cursor until it changes and then move that line over here. And this section here will be that divide between the two columns. Just move that over a little bit more. Give yourself a bit of space this side. I'm just going to use up two rows here. So I'm going to highlight these two cells go to table layout and then go to this merge cell here. Do the same with these two cells, just highlight them both, select them both, go to merge cells. And then we're going to select both of these cells and merge them together. So now we have one complete cell. Now, if I begin to type in this cell, you can see that all of my text will be to the top left of my cells, including any other cells throughout this table that I choose to type in. So I want all of my text to be in the center of any cell within my table. So I'm just going to select my table 
and then make sure I'm on layout and then go over to this center icon here which is center or align to center and click. And now all of the text that I type into my table will be aligned to the center of my cell. I'm just going to select this text here, go up to the home tab and then I'm going to go to this increase font size icon and just click until the font is the size I want. I'm also going to take out this border here, this one here, the one at the bottom and make sure there's a gap until I start to type here. So let's just highlight the cells where we want to remove the borders. Go up to table design and along to this section here. Now this section here will be using quite a lot because this deals with all of the borders around your cells in your table. In particular this icon here. If you click on the drop down you can see that you've got all of the different borders around each individual cell that you can use to fully customize how this planner will work. So all I'm going to do at the moment is just to take out all of the borders around my selection. So we click no border and you can see all of those border lines have been removed. Now you can also see it's removed this line across the top here which we want to put back in. So let's just highlight these two cells because we want the border line to run across the top of these two cells. Go back up to borders and then select top border. We want that top border back in, click on it and you can see that top border will come back. And again, we want this border here. So let's highlight these three cells, go back up to borders, click on the drop down and select left border. So now we've got in our title, we're going to merge these cells here so that we can create a box that you can type or that you can write in the day of the week. So what we can do here is select all of these cells, go up to layout and select merge cells. Then we need a space underneath it. So let's just go back to the design. You can see that we need a space here. So again, select these cells, go back up to table design, along to borders, click on the drop down, no borders. Then replace the borders that we want. So in this cell we want the bottom border. So click bottom border. And in these cells we want the top border. And there we've created the first section to our daily planner. Now if we go back to our design, we're now going to create this space down the middle. So we select all of these cells, make sure you're on table design, go to borders and no borders. Select these cells here, go back up to borders and put in the left border, select these cells and then put in the right border. And then we've just created this section here. Going back to our design, we'll now create this element here. What we've done here is we've merged two sets of cells together to create these wider boxes to enable us to write more in each one. So what we need to do is we've got the top one up here that we need to merge. So again, layout, merge, and then we'll just enter our text. And then what I'll do now is I'm going to merge these two cells, merge and these two cells, merge. And we're going to do that so that we have 10 cells. We can actually put the numbers in here so we know how many we've done. Let's just merge these. Now what I have done is I've created a shortcut key to merge cells which is really really handy because it makes things a lot quicker. The way you do that is to go up to tools, go down to customize keyboard, go down to table in this section here, then in the commands type merge and then you can see the command table merge cells. 
Now, if I hadn't assigned this, let's just remove it. Go to press new keyboard shortcut. So I've selected command and control R. You can see it's currently assigned to something else, but I'm not bothered about that. So I'm happy to assign this one to the merge. But if you don't want to override this, then you can select a different shortcut key. So I want to assign that one. And then you can see it's come up under current keys, command R, and then select OK. Now when I want to merge my cells, I just highlight them, press my shortcut, command R, and it will merge those cells. It means I don't have to keep going back up to merge cells. I can just press that shortcut key, which is really helpful. So let's just go down and merge all of these. Perfect. Then I need a space. So again, let's just highlight these two cells, table design, borders, and then let's take out no borders, highlight these two cells and put in the bottom border, highlight these two cells and put in the top border. Okay, so going back to the design, then we're going to put the meal section in and again merge these cells again like we've done here, just giving us a little bit of extra space. So let's merge. Now the beauty about entering a big table like this is that you can move every section around. So if I just wanted to move this line here, select this cell, sorry, select these two cells, and I can just move that line if I want to. And the same goes for a number of cells. If I just want to move the line for these cells, I just highlight those cells and just move this line for those cells. So this way of doing it is actually really, really versatile. So let's go back to the design and let's do this exercise. So one cell, two cells to merge together, and then a gap. So one cell to merge, and then these two to merge, then a gap. Let's take out the borders. Again, bottom border, top border, Goal activities, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. Now, before I merge everything together, I need to explain how we're going to do these boxes. We're going to move the line over and then insert these boxes. So, eight cells. So let's merge this one. Put in goal activities. And then for seven boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're just going to move this line over. And then in these cells, we're going to enter those boxes and then we're going to get rid of the borderline here. I'm not going to delete the cell or merge it. We're just going to delete this line here. So the boxes just show here. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to enter a checkbox. So we need to go to the developer tab. Now, if you don't have the developer tab, just go to Word, Preferences, go to Ribbon and Toolbar, and then in this Customize the Ribbon, go down to the bottom, and then make sure this developer tab is checked here. Once you've done that, go to the developer tab. It should appear then in your ribbons. And then go along to this checkbox icon here. Now this is normally used for a fillable form, but you can use it for this. It's perfect. So just click on checkbox and you can see it comes up, but it comes up with a shading around it. So then go along to this shading icon here and just click on that and it will take the shading away and you're just left with a beautiful box. And then go down to the next cell here, go back to checkbox and then just hit your down arrow and then click on checkbox and then it'll make the process quite quick. Once you've done that, we need to get rid of these, this borderline here. So we're going to select these cells all the way down. Go up to table design, go to border. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to select right border. As you can see, it hasn't done anything. But when you go back up, it's now checked. So now when you click on it, you'll uncheck it and it will now take the borderline. So it's almost like you've got to double 
click on it, but go up once and then go up again and uncheck it. And then it will get rid of that. And it just means now that these are all lined up nicely. They're all aligned to the center of those cells. And you haven't got to make boxes and move them along and shift and press the shift key and press the, the space bar to try to move them around. It's just a really easy way of doing it. Now we need to make a space here. So we'll just select these two cells, go back to borders, no border, click on the two cells above, border, bottom border, two cells here, border, top border. There we go. Back to our design. Now we've got our shopping list which takes up one cell here and then two cells down here. So back up, just merge that, type in shopping and then let's just merge these four cells here, command R, and I think we've done that for four cells, is that right? Let's go back up. One, two, three, four, that's five. Right, okay, one more. So just highlight those four cells, press merge, and we've merged it into one cell. Back to a space again, highlight two cells, back up, no border, select the cells above, bottom border, and then top border, and then again, we're going to go back to our quote of the day or daily inspiration. This is for a way to put your daily quote to inspire you. Merge those. And then we're going to merge all of these cells. So select them all, Command R, and then we've got our one cell there. And just to finish off, you'll notice that we've just put a number of thicker border lines at the bottom of each one, except for this one. I don't know why that hasn't taken. So we'll just put the thicker border line below the title of each box. And the way to do that is to select one of your title boxes and then go back up to the borders section. And here you can adjust the weight or the thickness of that border line. So when you click on the down arrow, you can select from any of these different options depending on your preference. But for this demonstration, I've selected two and a quarter points. Then go back up to borders and select bottom border. Again, go to your next title and you don't have to click on the drop down anymore because it's already selected that bottom border. So just click and it makes the process quite quick. Now, if this happens to you where the thickness of the line has actually pushed everything down, let me just finish off these titles. Then again, all you do is click outside your table. So click on the following page. You may not see your cursor, don't worry. And then once again, go to the rulers and drag that margin down until that page disappears. Perfect. So that's how you go about creating this daily planner, but I would advise that you do it with a table that fits the entire page. And then all you need to do is just take out borders, put in borders, move borders around. If you try to create these boxes on their own, they jump around the page and it's just, it can get very, really, really clunky and it can be really irritating. It's just going to annoy you. So I hope everything I've done today has helped you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.